it's, it's not that our dogs or cats are, you know, spilling the beans, so to speak, giving out our personal information. We could be giving out our personal information by talking about our dogs, our cats, our pets, especially on social media. So I've got my Twitter pulled up over here, and you saw that picture of the German Shepherds earlier? Those are my dogs. These are my dogs right here. I want to show you. Charlie Rose and Peyton, my babies, they're part of the family. But here's why those four-legged friends can put our in personal information at risk. Pet names are one of the most popular choices for passwords. So by using your dog's name or your cat's name to try to protect your accounts, you're not offering yourself any protection at all. Check it out. Here's some of the most common passwords out there. You want to make sure yours is not on this list. Pets or children's names. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, still very popular. Password. And if you're going to focus on one particular password to protect, here's the account to protect. The single most important account to protect is your email. And the reason why is let's think like a hacker for a second. If I can get into your email account, I can figure out where you bank. I can go to your bank's website and say, I forgot my password. Where does that password reset get sent? To your email. So to make those passwords stronger, you actually want to make them longer, not more complicated. We start to think we need the letters, the numbers, the symbols, but it's really more about making them longer. Add a word to that password or even just add exclamation points. It's about creating something that's much tougher to crack so you can actually protect your identity. You'll be more protected that way. Uh, you definitely want to avoid those common passwords, though, guys. And I loved this. Another one on the list of most common passwords, believe it or not. Yeah. Monkey. Monkey. Monkey.